The history of embalming dates back to the early Egyptians, where they would take the pharaohs and they would uh, mummify them. So what they would do there, they'd take out all their internal organs, place them in jars, and then they'd use some type of chemical to uh, preserve the body. Adding chemical started back in during the Civil War time is when they really started doing embalming to get the troops back up north. When it really took a hold was back in 1902 by Thomas Holmes. He's known as a, the founding father of modern day embalming. The process on how we prepare bodies, our first step is just to make an analysis of the body, basically depending on size, and sometimes there can be discoloration, and we just kind of make a small incision around the sternum area, and you just pull up the carotid artery and the jugular vein. You will insert um, what we call a cannula, which carries the fluid in the artery, and then the blood and the fluid will come out of the jugular vein and proceeds through all the, the arteries, capillaries, and it combines with amino acids in the body to uh, give it that preservation. At first, you know, I, I kind of think about what I'm gonna be doing, and I try to always think, if this was my mom or my dad, I'm gonna treat them with the utmost respect. Once I have everything set up the way I want it, and I'm ready to start doing the actual embalming, I turn on music and listen to classic rock, and it just kind of relaxes me, and. and let things go pretty good. What makes me think I'm able to do this job and not other people, I think it's more of a calling than anything. Not everybody wants to be around the dead human body. It's not a bad thing, but however, it can be a very bad thing. Nature is not good or kind to the human body once it passes away. A day or so it's fine, but you start looking four or five days, two weeks, it's nothing pretty. It's nothing like you've ever seen or nothing you've ever smelled. So it takes a special person to do this. How I discovered this was my calling, when I first got married, me and my wife lived above a mortuary and we helped out with visitations and I did going out and making transfers of the deceased to the funeral home and the funeral director there was just very inspirational and I just kind of, I really enjoyed doing it. So I thought it was something I'd like to do. Why do I think not many people know about the specifics of the preparations and tend to ignore these aspects of, of death? Um, for one, people don't want to know what we do. A lot of people think we do a lot of different things. I've had people ask me how we do it or do you hang them upside down to do stuff and that, that's not even true what we do. People just don't want to know what we do. If they saw or understood what we do, I think they'd be more acceptive. As far as the specifics of these practices, should they become common knowledge or not? I think some of them should be knowledgeable, but there's other things that they you know, don't need to be brought up. There are some things that we have to do to prepare the body in certain cases. Let, let's just say this, when we have to do the inside of the, the torso, we, a lot of times the embalming chemicals don't get there, so we have to do a little bit extra work to put some preservatives inside the, the cavity. Okay, for people, they might object to that, but it's just the only way we can get that taken care of. I think, you know, some of the things are fine. I openly explain what we do when we do minimal preparations, for instance, closing the eyes and closing the mouth, okay? Sometimes people don't look natural when they die. They have their mouth open, their eyes are open. And if they ask how I do it, I just kind of very gently explain that we have a process that we do that. And then when they come in to see that person and they're dressed, they're cosmetized, that helps them with that grieving process, seeing somebody that actually looks like mom or dad or their child or something in that line. Um, if you can get a son to cry over his mother, you know you did the right thing.